Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, I want to talk about the importance of the feedback loop in software development. Okay, so I'm a bit late with the video this week. It has been a busy week, right? We have loads of client stuff I need to do, still prospecting, still talking to new clients or potential new clients, still working on the marketing. And then also we got school starting next week, so there's all kinds of other kind of errands that have to be happen. And if you have kids and you work for yourself, you know a lot of times you're doing a lot of stuff in one go and your schedule just fills up so quickly. And there was one day this week where I spent a day at a client site. Well, actually, it was more like half a day. Well, it was meant to be half a day where I got there in the afternoon, and but I ended up staying there till like 8.30 at night, right? And it wasn't a new prospect. It was more a situation where working with another development team and they were doing the server development and I was doing the app development or my team's doing the app development. And we had problems with push notifications where they used to work, but then they stopped working when they changed accounts and we moved from one uh, app store account to another one. And for whatever reason, push notifications just stopped, right? So it's actually been an issue. So we haven't been able to roll out the latest version. It's not in production, but it was in development. So it's a, a problem that has been going on for almost months. I mean, it's been weeks and weeks and weeks and where I'm saying, look, we're not getting the push notifications from your server and we're saying we're sending them but we're just not you're not you're not getting them so something is going wrong somewhere in the, in the situation and the reason it's taken weeks and months is because when you're working with an external team or external developers or another company you have a very low like a slow feedback loop like so it was I would send an email saying okay I've tried this is not working they might get back to me the next day with another email they you know sometimes we'll do it a little bit faster over Skype but for the most part it's just a slow process. So the goal of going out to their offices this week and spending a half day there, which turned out to be a full day, was just to speed up the feedback loop, get everybody in the same room sitting at the same table. And this is one of the problems with working with remote teams sometimes, is that it just, things slow down, although you could leave, you know, like a like Skype open or Zoom open and, and everything, a lot of times you just don't get the same level of attention. So sitting down at the same desk it was able to say, okay, I'm sending a push notification now. I didn't get it. Uh, let's try to change this. Let's try to change that. Let me try to redo this, right? And because I'm thinking it's on their side, they're thinking it's on my side, and we're all in the same room, we're a team, we're working together. And actually, I was annoyed that I had to do it, to be honest with you. I was annoyed. I was like, I don't have to drive a couple hours out to their offices, sit down with them, go through all this kind of stuff because it's, you know. But in the end, we hammered through it. And it wasn't one side or the other. It was one of those situations where I think I had to regenerate the certificates. Uh, they had to, and then once we got that working with the test notifications working finally, then we found out that their part had, wasn't working either. So it was like, it was almost like walking through the jungle with a machete, you know, all these bugs. We just uh, get them out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. And then at the end of the evening, well, whatever, nine o'clock at night, we were able to submit it to iOS and it was actually a very rewarding experience. But sometimes you just do it does help to be in the same room right i always try to do things remotely if i can right i think it's you know i think the whole nature of technology is we, you know, we use webcams we use screen sharing we use all this kind of stuff everything should be able to work remotely but the sad truth is sometimes it helps just to be there in person just to sit down with their developers sit down with you as a developer right there's no ego there's no it's my fault it's your fault it's like let's see if we can sort this thing out and it was actually it was a it was a good experience if you've ever worked with other teams or other companies you know a lot of times it could be you know sometimes it could be very welcoming like okay let's all work like which was in this case like it was like let's work together to sort this problem out and sometimes it could be everything is your fault. I've had clients like that in the past where everything was my fault until proven otherwise. And it could be, it could be very stressful, but anyway, it, and I think this is one of the reasons why if, when we work with clients overseas, like we do have some clients in the States, 
it's a lot more difficult because we can't get those those one-on-one -on -one interactions sometimes but it's nice when we can and even though I whinged and I moaned about going to this meeting all day it turned out okay so anyway I just wanted to share that with you these are the kind of things that just pop up the things that you know the life of an of an app developer running your own app company for clients sometimes you just something comes in you, you you can't sort out these issues right it should everything should be working right that's the nature of bugs it should be working of course it should be working but then you kind of move on and uh, and get that sorted so anyway I hope you guys are having a good day today I hope you guys have a fantastic week up ahead and uh, that's it I'll talk to you guys next time